Hi everyone, today I wanted to share with you guys uh, the things that I carry around in my bag, so kind of my EDC, everyday carry, and I thought it might be an interesting video. So let's jump in with the bag. For the past like 10 years, I used to carry around an old uh, Jansport with tons and tons of drawings on it. Every time I was uh, getting bored in class, I would just grab a pen and start to draw. And I finally decided to change uh, that bag this year to a nicer one uh, for work especially and I wanted a proper uh, laptop bag as well. I think it's made by a company called Marin Collection but I really don't know uh, so I can't really share much about that company sadly uh, but it's been holding up pretty well for now. Um, I found this at the bay and it had all of the features I was looking for. It has a, a pocket that's easy to reach at the front, uh, it has space for notebooks, pens, uh, all the accessories that I carry around and a laptop pouch. I also like that it has a small pocket uh, inside that I can reach a bit quicker. So that's where I'll keep things like my uh, my AirPods Pros or uh, glasses. Now let's talk about the computer. The main uh, focus of this whole setup, of course, I carry around a MacBook Pro. Um, it's a 2020 model with eight gigs of memory and 256 gigs of uh, storage. So for my day to day, it's actually pretty good. But ever since I've started to uh, edit these videos, I might need to upgrade uh, soon. Uh, the 256 gigs of storage is not enough at all. And the eight gigs of memory is, it's decent, but it's not enough. I'd like to have a bit more. And if you guys are thinking about picking it one up, I definitely do get more than eight gigs of uh, shared memory. But overall, it's still a really, really good computer. It has the A1 uh, chip in it, and it's it's actually pre uh, quite impressive. Uh, it handles everything I do mostly fine. And I work as a web designer, uh, like I said in the past, and uh, it does the job really, really well. It's just for editing videos that I've seen that it's... I have the smaller model, and I'm really happy about that because I carry it everywhere that I go. Um, so it's, it's lighter. It's also easier to just carry on because it's smaller. And I use it all the time, uh, whether that be to like maybe plan a video, uh, write a blog post, stuff like that, uh, open Notion or whatever. A lot of things get done on that computer. And it's been doing the job great, like I said, except for maybe the editing, but it's still fine overall. I also carry around an iPad Pro. Uh, this isn't something I carry around all the time, but I really like to have it around. Um, it's especially useful whenever I'm in meetings, when I need to take notes. I like to, when I'm, well, when I'm starting a new uh, website, I like to sketch out a bit um, what I, I'd like it to look like so I can have a, a better idea and kind of plan it all in there. It's also really nice for uh, drawing or reading. And if you want to know more about the apps that I have on this iPad, you can check out this video that I made on my favorite iPad apps. And this is the 2019 uh, model. It's the 11 inch. So it's the smaller model. And just like the uh, for the Mac, I like the smaller model because it's easier to carry around. When I was in school, I actually used to carry this around more than a computer um, because it does the job for most of what I was doing in school. That's in business school, not in design school. Design school and computer is absolutely necessary. But for just taking notes and stuff, that was perfect. And if you're someone that's going to draw a lot, I would recommend getting the larger model. But for me, this was perfect. And the Pro models are a bit overkill, but if you like to game and stuff like that, it's definitely a really, really solid machine. And yeah, iPad Pro. And next, we have the phone. I recently upgraded to the 13 Pro. I was at a bit of an older model with the iPhone XS. And the main reason why I upgraded was for the better cameras and of course for the battery, because I now use my phone a lot more. Uh, both for work, for this channel, I, I uh, have two Instagram pages that I'm running and uh, that takes a lot of time and battery and I was kind of annoyed of having to charge my phone all the time and now uh, with this one I can charge it in the morning and I, it lasts for like a day and a half for me so really happy about that. The cameras are great of course and yeah I also like the, the screen is really really nice, really bright, all of that, it does the job perfectly well for what I do. While I use my iPad a lot for taking notes, there's also something about a good old uh, pen and paper. And that's why I carry around the journal everywhere that I go. I use it kind of like what I use the iPad for, honestly, for uh, taking notes, drawing, stuff like that. I also remember reading that um, you actually remember things more when you note them down, um, like write them down uh, by hand instead of like typing them on a computer or something like that. 
And I, I've also found that I go through my uh, notebooks a lot more than I go through my Apple Notes, uh, which is the app that I use for the iPad. So I really, really enjoy carrying this uh, moleskin around. I carry it everywhere that I go. And with that, I carry four pens or pencils and they're all super overkill, but I really like them and I don't know why. I have a smaller cross pen that I carry around everywhere. Actually, has a pretty good story. I bought one like three-ish years ago. I carried it everywhere that I went and I lost it. And my girlfriend got me this newer one for uh, Valentine's Day. Let's now get into the accessories. Since I am in the Apple ecosystem, uh, my audio device of choice is of course the AirPods Pro. I've tried uh, other ones. I've tried the regular AirPods. I've had uh, the Powerbeats Pros and decided to go with the AirPods Pros because of the noise cancelling. And of course, they're super easy to use when you have uh, everything Apple. Uh, so they're my audio device of choice. And the sound quality is actually pretty good. I was uh, happily surprised. Um, and the noise cancelling is great. I have no uh, complaints about that. They're of course better um, over ear headphones, um, like from Sony's, but it's not the same thing, right? I like to carry my AirPods in my pockets. I just grab them whenever I need to. So they're super, super cool for that. And since I am an Apple and Mac user, I obviously need to carry around some sort of dongle because we only have two USB-C ports and you can do much with that. Um, so the one I have is uh, this small one by Anchor and has a lot of cool things. So you have your two regular USB, uh, two USB-Cs. You have an HDMI port at the back um, so I can plug in my uh, monitor right there when I'm working uh, from home. And you have an SD card slot as well as micro SD. The size is also super nice. It fits really, really well in my bag. And it also feels pretty sturdy when it's on your computer. I am not scared of breaking it or anything. I mentioned earlier that my Mac only has 256 gigs of storage and that really sucks. It's not enough for anything that I do. I have to back that up like maybe every other week-ish because uh, of these video files that are huge. And I do that on this little uh, external storage here. Um, so this is made by a G drive and it's a one terabyte. It's an SD drive, so I'm, I don't have to worry about uh, breaking it or anything. And I highly recommend that you do pick up um, an external storage, uh, whether that be just to have the peace of mind that if your computer crashes or something like that, you won't lose all your files because so you'll have a backup. And definitely do get an SD drive, not hard drive, because, um, well, you won't have to be scared of like dropping it or whatever. Uh, you'll, all your documents are gonna be safe. This one comes in at a price around $100 and I've had it for about four years now and it's really, it's done this job perfectly well. I've never had any issues with it. Uh, I might have to buy more now that I'm getting those larger uh, camera files, but it's really, really cool. I really, I carry it around every day. It's always in my bag and whenever I need it, it's there. Let's talk about the mouse. Depending on the situation, I'll carry a different mouse, but I always have this Apple one in my bag and I have a love-hate relationship with this one because the ergonomics of it are super bad. It's super annoying to have to charge it um, from the back instead of like from the front, like a regular uh, mouse. But it's also super small and useful. It acts just like a trackpad, so it's really nice. It's super small, so I can carry it everywhere that I go. But uh, whenever I'm going to like to work or something like that, um, and I know I'll be using a mouse a lot more, I'll never, never, never carry this one around because it's just, the ergonomics are just too bad. So I carry around. This uh, MX Master 3, which is an overkill mouse, but it's super comfortable. So if I'm working for longer hours, I'll have this one uh, with me. It's also huge, but uh, another thing that's really nice is that it works on any surfaces. So whether I'm working on a glass table or on a normal table, it doesn't matter. It just works on anything. So that's really cool. And now my last item, let's talk about the camera. Um, so this is a Nikon D5200 and huge thanks for my dad to, uh, for letting me use uh, this camera. It's his camera, but he doesn't use it a lot. He's letting me use it. And I use it a lot for photography. So that's why I carry it everywhere that I go. It's always with me in my bag. And I also use it to film these uh, videos. So yeah, huge thanks to him. I carry it around everywhere that I go. I'm of course super careful with it, but I've been really enjoying it. I have, uh, I've been taking a lot more pictures since I so this camera is actually really, really good for taking pictures. It's not great or the best for videos. The reason for that is that first, it cannot shoot in 4K. 
and my videos are in HD anyways, but having uh, 4K footage is especially nice if you're trying to zoom in on stuff. Yeah. It would also allow me to upload in 4K, of course. And the other thing is the autofocus on this camera is just terrible. So if you're doing videography, it's not the best. Uh, but for pictures, I found that it's actually pretty good. It takes nice pictures. I really like it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to see my five favorite uh, productivity apps on my phone, go click on this video right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.